My name is Paul Rosalie. I'm a naturalist based out of southern Peru, and today I'm headed into the jungle to show you a place that very few people have gotten to see. I'm in the Madre de Dios region of Peru. This is the far western Amazon and some of the deepest jungle on earth. I've come to check a set of remote camera traps that we put in the jungle nearly four weeks ago. But what the cameras recorded surprises even me. The videos instantly show a diversity of life. Here, razor-billed curassows chase Spix's guans off the lick. Both birds are indicator species, proof that this forest has not been hunted. This gray brocket deer makes a fast break as howler monkeys come down to feed on the salt-rich clay of the culpa. The dominant male gives a suspicious look towards our camera before allowing his troop to join him. In the wake of the howlers, a white capuchin monkey visits the culpa briefly, and here, a giant armadillo makes a very rare daylight appearance. Ocelots are frequent visitors to the culpa. Their diet includes squirrels, rabbits, possums, porcupines, and even prey as large as this paca. In this still image, you can see an ocelot lining up his prey from across the culpa. In the video, they travel on the same trajectory out of the frame. They're always hunting. A photographer on my team snapped this broad daylight image of an ocelot with a small squirrel monkey in his jaws. Both white-lipped and collared peccaries visit the culpa. Their sharp hooves and strong snouts break up the mud, which makes the salt more accessible for other species. None larger than the massive Brazilian tapirs that visit every day. In this video, you can see a female approaching the culpa at night with her baby. But tapirs aren't the only giants to visit. Nearby, a mother giant anteater inspects the camera with her long nose. As she walks by, you can see the baby on her back. This red brocket deer also brings her young, but as every mother in the jungle knows, danger is everywhere. The gaping scar on the side of this deer is evidence of the constant threat of predators. Pumas patrol the culpa each night, but even they have to be on guard. Jaguars hunt here too. The West Amazon supports some of the strongest remaining populations of these near-threatened cats. At the culpa, it's possible to see several different individuals. This one stops to have a drink before moving on. With so many big cats in this part of the forest, the reality is, you're always being watched. Halfway through the study, I visited the cameras. I changed the batteries and made sure everything was working. By 8.12 p.m., I left the culpa. Weeks later, I learned that just two minutes later, there was a visitor. This is not the smaller male that I had seen in the videos coming for a drink. This is a massive, mature male. You can see him here stalking the trails nearby at night. In this one spot in the forest, over a four week period, the cameras had recorded over 2,000 videos of dozens of species. If so much life is visible in just one location, it's not too difficult to imagine what else is out there.